Kiswahili ya mwaka mpya karibuni kwenye breakfast debate kwa mara ya kwanza kwa mwaka 2020. Karibuni sana. Our gross enrollment meaning students who are studying standard 1 is at 93.2%. And the target is to get 99% by 2025. So the survival rate currently is at 48%. It will take a number of years to be able to bridge this gap. But we don't have to wait for so many years. So quickly, artificial intelligence is a technology where you can give a machine or a computer ability to perform the task without human supervision. Using artificial intelligence, we'll be able to understand students according to level of understanding and making sure that we group together and find the different ways of teaching them. This goes hand in hand with inclusive education. That information when I, when I gather on a phone, Ning to keep process, we may not come back home. Behavior serve in a funny if. Call our policy, yen the if. Call it's like you're informing the policy and the decision making from big data. How do we allocate our resources as a nation to education given all the other challenges that we face? And that is how technology is coming in, creating a pathway to learning, to knowledge that is not necessarily replacing the system that is existing but it's, it's complementary. It's enabling students to learn anytime and anywhere and to meet the challenges and the gaps that they're facing in schools right now. Lazima tukubali kwamba maendeleo yanaendana na teknolojia sasa hivi duniani kote. Kwa hiyo hatuwezi kubaki nyuma. What does all of this mean in terms of child safeguarding and protection? Ushauri kwa taasisi kama Shule Direct zingefanya pilot. Wala katika wilaya moja kuangalia namna ambavyo inaweza kumfikia kila mmoja, alafu mafunzo yale tuyaweke mezani, tujadili pamoja na serikali tuone ni namna gani tunaweza tukayatumia.